Hello Keith and welcome to ChiefTutor.com. Okay, I got your PDF file and we are going to make this roof. Okay, so this is what you have. Um, seems to be an 812 pitch. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's got a couple of gables on the front and then it looks like a main gable across the entire house, the main structure of the house. Okay, so I'm going to pull this off to the side of the screen and here's your plan that you have so far. I'm going to go ahead and just remove the roofs that are there now. And um, to make this easy on myself, I'm going to select the aerial view set. And from there, let's see, what do I want to do? I want to build the roof baseline polylines. Because if I'm going to draw this roof, it's relatively simple, just this hip roof here, or excuse me, this gable roof straight across the house. That's pretty simple. And then adding these on is where it gets a little tricky, but we can do it. It's no problem. So here's what we want to do. We want to start with the make roof baseline polylines. So I'm going to click OK. It says those lines are not on. Do you wish to turn them on? I say yes. Now I can see right away that I've got a lot of corners. It changes direction. even has a little one here made in 812 vertical G and it's all kind of wrong I don't want any of that so what I need to do is probably go to the all onset and make sure each wall has been turned off where you have labeled full gable so I'm just going to go around real quick and turn off whatever I think you probably made full gable here I think you probably made one yep there um, let's see, good there, in fact I could just start double clicking this stuff, make it easier on me, okay there we go, there we go, and uh, that's a good way to start though, the way you have it set up, uh, Chief is set to do that, like you can assign different walls to be full gable versus hip or whatnot, so that's a, that is a good way to do it, but when it's tricky with the front the way it is, it's best to start from a blank slate. Okay, so let's see where we're at now. Back to aerial view, and let's generate the roof baseline polylines again. And it's a little bit cleaner now. I like that. Okay, so I got 812 all the way around. Shouldn't have anything that says gable. So it's all 8 and 12, 8 and 12, 8 and 12, 8 and 12, which is what we need. Okay, perfect. Oh, I feel one right there. <laughs> so so I don't mess with the walls. I'm going to go down here to normal walls and I'm going to lock that layer. And I'm going to turn on invisible and lock that layer as well. Double click this bad boy, remove him. It defaults back to 6 and 12. So if you're playing with it, you'll notice that you might have to go back in there and reset certain things time and again. Okay, so... Again, we have the main ridge going through the house, and it crosses the plate light plate height at about this level across. So we're going to dictate that as this point here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a CAD line on this 812 line. So I know where I should cut the other pieces in order for to make this work. So grab this CAD line and come all the way through. Okay, so with that connected, I'm going to use my cut tool and I'm going to cut here and I'm going to cut right there. Or actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down to there. Now that will expose this part of the house for now, but that's okay. We can fix that easily by pulling this plane back. But what we have now is pretty good. So we have this as a full gable. So we're going to open it up and make that a full gable. And it goes all the way through to the back side, which will pull this. In fact, I'm just going to pull it this way just to make it easy. Because, again, it's real easy to change the roof once it's generated correctly. So I'm going to select that edge, call that full gable. And then I'm going to select this edge because I know the front of it's full gable. But wait, you know, before I do that, I want to take a closer look at what's going on here. So it shows that this gable roof goes just above the front door or just above that alcove area so my full gable should technically be somewhere in here I would assume so I'm gonna pull that out and there seems to be double gables where 
it crosses right here. And this is a full gable. So, okay, we're going to assign that to a full gable and assign that to a full gable. Open it up, full gable. Good, good, good. And then the front. We'll get this. Whoops, we don't want the garage door. Select that edge, full gable, and select, and hit tab on the keyboard. Select that one, and make sure it's full cable. Wait, seems I've selected the wrong one. There we go. Open it up, full gable. Click OK. So again, I'm just going to check. I got gable, gable, 812, 812, 812. Everything should be 812 or V gable, vertical gable. Okay, so that all makes sense. All right, so now let's go back to our generate roof tool and generate our roof. And there we go. What we have is the main ridge going through the house, and we have the garage coming off of it. Okay, so we're all pretty much set. So what we can do now is simply move back this side of the house and extend this roof pitch on and around to cover up that hole that we've created. Okay, so let's do that. I'm just going to go in here, bring him back to about, uh, about there. And I'm not worried about crossing that triangle down there. It's just going to disappear. And there we go. And then this guy, I'm going to split him right here. I'm going to try to straighten that up a bit. I'm going to cut again here so I can pull this out and maybe throw it up against the house. Who knows how far it goes. Something like that. I don't have to have so much overhang. Okay, so let's take a look at that bad boy. And if all worked well, we should have a roof. There we go. Now you'll notice uh, your roofs were set to the, um, what do you call that, the box eaves. So just go in here and change the default overhang to a manual. And that'll fix little problems you have in there and there. So I'm just going to fix that to 20. And again, it's easy enough now to pull it all back and put it where you want it. All the pieces where you want to put it. But everything else seems to work just fine. So it's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, hopefully that helps. The key here, again, is those baseline polylines and to get them just right. Now, now that it's right, you don't want to delete it. You want to leave it just because if you end up doing some roof tweaks later and you get lost or it gets damaged, you can easily just hit regenerate and it'll regenerate the roof right to where it was before when we did it. And so everything works great. So I just typically go back to the default view and then I'll turn off the roof baseline polyline, so we don't need to stare at those anymore, which is this guy here. Click OK. And then our roof's back on, and we're back in business working Groovy Tuesday. So I hope that helps, and um, let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Okay, talk to you soon.